today I would like to share some information about two-speed gear box uh, that is provided as an extra accessory for WPL toys. If you watched my previous videos, you saw that I experimented with my C24 truck in water, had to fix the electrical motor in the in the end, as it's a, a crawler car, it goes slowly to be able to overcome different obstacles on the road. The rotation of the old electrical motor is not that fast and uh, my kid said I want this car to be faster and I decided to check out what extra accessories are sold for this model and there is a uh, this kind of an assembly with a two speed gearbox which can go fast and slow but for that you would need to get another set of uh, receiver and uh, transmitter namely you will have to change the remote control so it would be expensive so this remote control doesn't have any extra button to control a servo motor to change the gears but i just decided to see how it works uh, you can see that the electrical motor on this gearbox is very big in comparison to the old one so this is good for me i want this car to be more powerful a bigger electrical motor means more torque so that's a big plus and then i thought how do i attach this assembly to this model so i said i'll buy it to see what it's like and i'll see if it can fit i've already attached the cables soldered them to this new gearbox it turned out that it fits this model this model uh, the old electrical motor would fit into this uh, case this uh, box gearbox comes with no shafts so i'll have to remove the shafts and put them here and then i can see the same three three holes for the screws and this one fits like this here and i've already checked if the car body fits on it and this part fits on top without any problem it has a special space here so that this electrical motor can fit in so i'll attach this without any problem i will use a mechanical switching and check out how it works there's a this lever here and let's see how it's being activated So when the lever is not activated, it rotates quickly. If it's activated, it rotates slowly. And there is a spring that doesn't let this lever move randomly. You have to apply some sport force. And actually, when the motor is not moving you can actually activate it you can push this lever only when the motor is on what i need to do now is just to install this on the chassis then move the shafts to the new part and bring everything back together and here is the first difficulty we are in quarantine uh, the shafts are a bit, a bit different on the original part you have this kind of a different shape it's not round it's cut in here so this part on the other hand has a has a round round shape so when you try to fit in this thing here it doesn't get inside so the solution is easy you can just uh, drill it a little bit with a small drill inside so that it fits in and then fix it with the screw in my case i will try to use this metal shafts which come with a round hole i bought it once in the past for my other project but it looks like it fits in and actually i saw that these parts are sold as an upgrade part for the WPL toys. So I can confirm that I could use the same screws to fix the transfer box, the new transfer box on the chassis. And now I added this shaft 
which also fits. So I install the shafts and they look good and uh, it feels like this uh, transfer box with the electrical motor is much more powerful. I'll just uh, look at this, we're trying to run it now. Sounds good, and now it's the matter of testing it. And if you don't want to buy an extra remote control to activate the low gear, you just can use uh, a rubber band to control the gears manually. And it's easy, you can pass this band through this lever, and there's a plenty of space where you can hook it up. I would pass it here and pass it back and not to interfere with this suspension here you just move the rubber a little bit up like this so it doesn't interfere with the suspension and it's good to go and if we Try it. Now you would notice that the speed will fall down. As you noticed, uh, the gear may not be shifted when the car is not moving. So if you exert this force with the plastic band, once it starts moving, it would pass to the lowest gear. And as I tested this gearbox, it's pretty strong as well. It goes through the obstacles really well too. And after driving the car in sand and water, in my case the sand is very tiny, it becomes like a sanding paper when it gets inside of the gears. You can see that in the end uh, the gears get worn out. Uh, I had one gear totally worn out to the point that it got broken and the uh, shafts just tore away the this metal axle. Not only the axle itself got worn out, but also the gear itself, the teeth got worn out, and in the end, as the electrical motor was very powerful, it destroyed the teeth on the gears, so that the gears in the differential stop having contact and the wheels stop moving. So that's what you will have to keep in mind if you upgrade your car to a more strong motor with higher speeds the tear and wear will occur faster and you may have to then go for updated spare parts which are also available online.